Well, farmers have been taking full advantage of any windows to get the crops in the ground, including a family in Calhoun County. But this year will be the first time young farmers are without a man responsible for preparing them to be successful. Elias Johnson joins us now with what they're growing together. Here in small town Iowa is a place where secrets are, let's face it, hard to keep, right? Everybody knows everybody, and when you lose somebody special, you feel it. It hurts, especially when that person is as well known and liked as the man people around Manson called Buck. Just east of Manson, the unmistakable sounds of spring Good. are back. The next generation on the Bleem family farm prepares for another season. One more. My dad and my uncle Brad, they've been farming together since 1980. As Alex and his cousin Cannon prepare to plant this year's crop, the pair rely on life lessons learned from their fathers. We could sit here all day and I would never run out of stuff to talk about that I learned from them. Bottom would probably be a little easier. Including what to do when things don't go as planned. He kind of wanted me to figure it out on my own. Got to be better than what it was. Sometimes you got to farmerize it much better. With a slight setback behind him, the boys are ready to roll. But this year, the man who taught Alex everything he knows. He was always there, so that'll be a little different to get used to is missing. I was really proud to say, yeah, that's my dad. On March 15th, Alex's dad, Clay, was planning to fix a planter inside this machine shed before the season kicked off. And I said, do you need any help with it? And he goes, no, I'll just handle it myself because I was working on manure spreader at the time. And he said, when you get done with that, maybe you can come check on me and see how I'm coming along. And let you know if I need an extra hand. During the repair, something went wrong and Clay was pinned against the wall of the building. He passed away before anyone knew he was in trouble. Went to go see how he was coming and that's what I came across. His death sent shockwaves throughout the community. To most people around town, he was better known as Buck, a lifelong resident, farmer, and volunteer firefighter. Few people knew him better than Todd Partlow. Oh, once in a lifetime, best friend. Did not judge people, did not talk bad about people, didn't know if he knew you one day or 20 years, he treated you the same. Todd understands what Alex is going through because Buck was thrust into the same situation on the farm over 40 years ago after his father was killed in a car accident. And he was the, my conscious and my mother, I lost my mother in 79, he lost his father a year later, so it really brought us close together then. And we became such good friends. It was a daily ritual to call him and he'd call me and he would tell me his problems and I didn't even have to talk. I just listened and that's what you need sometimes is somebody to listen to you. And I'm having trouble now because I have problems and he ain't there. There's nobody there to help you no more. I think one of my favorites is the one at the concert with the four of us. Back at the farm, Buck's wife Shelly and daughter Kyla find comfort combing through decades of memories that bring smiles. Oh my, oh my gosh. Instead of tears. <laughs> he loved helping people. That was kind of his passion, whether it was a neighbor or a family member or a friend. And, and it, as Alex used to say, my dad can do anything because he doesn't have a real job. <laughs> <laughs> that was in his younger years. I feel like I'm kind of missing a piece of me or missing my, you know, we have Google nowadays. Um, sounds silly, but uh, dad was kind of like my Google, <laughs> I guess. But dad was a great listener. He really was. So, and I think that's something that I'm definitely going to miss. Now, with the changing of a season, comes a chance to reflect on lessons learned from a man through the way he yeah. lived. The day-to-day -day with him, the fun that we had together. He really, truly loved to have fun. He, he believed in work hard, but play hard. I would definitely say live life to the fullest, but dad worked hard for the people closest to him. So that's one thing I remember and think about, you know, when I go to work. 
I need to be more like him. And I will. So lesson learned. You got to get up every day. You got to go to work and nobody's going to give you anything for nothing. And to always treat your wife with respect and do what you can to take care of your family. Big thanks to everybody back home inviting me in to share Buck's story. So Alex and his cousin Cannon, they got 250 acres of beans left to plant. That's as of today. Aaron, mm -hmm. I asked Alex, what would dad say if he were here right now? And his answer, quit screwing around and get to work. <laughs> so that may explain why they have a little left, but mm -hmm. uh, luckily Buck's brother Brad still holds the title of supervisor, so the boys can lean on him for help. Man, Elias, those are some big feels. It's uh, hard to say goodbye to somebody like that, but luckily everybody's coming together. Yeah, what a legacy. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, we have to brag on Elias too because uh, not just an emotional story, but he writes it, he shoots it, he edits it. Back it's in the really day, good. we called that one man banding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Elias he did, did it all proud. by himself. Oh, and Fantastic. he came back from Manson and said, We got to go there with RVTV. <laughs> And it didn't Let's sound it. like a question, so <laughs> I think we're going. Let's do it. Uh, we have a, a 